I'll introduce myself a little more, um, but I'm sitting in Katamon in Jerusalem, and I would like to start with the words of Harav Avram Yitzchak, a Kohen Cook, Zecher Tzadik Libracha, and And I'm hoping you can see these words clearly enough because I can't actually see even your comments. All I can see is the screen of these words um, so that you can see them. The whispers of existence. All existence whispers to me its secret. Chaim liyesh kach, na kach. I have life to offer. Take it. Please take. Im yesh lecha lev ubalev dam. If you have a heart, and in your heart red blood is flowing, sheve al yeush lo zihamahu, that has not been poisoned by the toxins of despair. But if your heart is uncircumcised, covered, and my beauty does not entrance you, Existence whispers to me. Sura meni sura. Hareni lecha lach asura. Away from me, away. To you, I am closed, locked, forbidden. In kol tziftzuf adin. Kol Yofi Chai, if every gentle sound, every living beauty, lo hadar shirat kodesh, does not bring us into songs of holiness, ach zerem esh zara bechaye oreu, but instead awakens in you a stream of strange fire. Sura meni sura. Haveni lecha. Asura. Away from me, away to you. I am closed, locked, forbidden. Vedor yakum vechai. And a generation will awaken, come to life, and come to life. Yashir leyofi vechaim, and it will sing to beauty and to life. Ve'edna blida yinak mital shamaim, and it will draw unending delight. Suckled from the dew of heaven. Umi hadar karmel v'sharon. Shifat raze ahavaya. From the vistas of the Carmel and the valleys of the Sharon. From the Technion to the Weitzman. Shifat raze ahavaya. Takshiv. Ozen amchai. The wealth of life's secrets will be heard by the ears of a nation, a people, alive. Umi Eden Shira Vifi Chaim Or Kodesh Yimale From the beauty of her song, the Eden of her song and the beauty of her life. 
a holy light will fill all. Ve'ahavaya kula lo tedovev, and all existence will murmur lovingly to us. Bechiri, hareni lecha, lach muteret, my beloved, I am yours, I am yours. All existence whispers to me its secret. Tel hashli sot, avaya kula. I have life to offer. Take, please take. Chaim li yesh kach, na kach. Meshorer Hatshuva, poet of our return. Have you been born yet? Ve'im bashchakim odena, tzuru ha'sham ha'nishmatcha betzuror ha'chaim. And if your soul is still in the heights, bound up in the treasure of life, Mehera reda ve orer kinocha. Quickly descend. Awaken your violin. Yishmeu kol dak elev. All the depressed of heart will hear. Ya azinu kol arle ruach. All the uncircumcised of spirit will give ear lehemyat nevalecha to the melody of your harp. Veshavu vechayu. And they will return and live. Poet of our return, have you been born yet? Well, Harav Avram Yitzchak Akoin Kuk. Zecher Tzadik Livracha, whose these images I'm sure everybody's seen in certain, to some extent or not, but Rav Avram Itzchak Akoin Kuk Zecher Tzadik Livracha was born in 1865 and I'll now. Uh, so th- oh good, I'm about to get some comments because I'm not hearing. But let me. Um, I want to stop sharing the screen. Okay. So everybody hears me and sees me. Okay. Can somebody please write something in the chat? Good. So my name is. Avram, Avram is Yitzchak Isaac, uh, Marmo Stein, Evan Scheich. I'm the Gabbai of the synagogue in Rav Cook's home here in Jerusalem. And I've been, my connection to Rav Cook very briefly is I was born in Israel, only child of Holocaust survivors. And The message I got was that there's tremendous darkness in the world. And I was looking for the light and, 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 and wanted to offer something as a response. And I was teaching Jewish high school. I got seriously involved and in, in returned back to studying Torah in 1973. And then in 1980, I was teaching Jewish high school in Winnipeg, Canada. And I, this is a book of Ruff Cook's translations by Ben Sion Boxer. It's wonderful. And, and before I go, any, let's go on. And I opened up this book one day. And as I started to read, I felt that I stepped into a larger understanding. I, I, I didn't, I felt it. I felt like suddenly there's more room here for thought. And this is a much larger more enlightened, more whole, 
more inspired, more illuminated understanding of the Torah than anything I had read to that point. And since then, 1980, 1981, I've been reading Rav Cook in various contexts. Along the way, I got involved in his poetry. And I came to understand that when Rav Cook was in his highest levels of uh, illumination, he would express it in poetry. So they're his Torahs, in a sense, from the world of, of Atzilut. And what I'd like to do today in the, in, in the rest of the session is, is to tell you a little bit about him, but mostly let, let the poems speak for themselves. And, um, and also because, of, yeah, so 1865, uh, he was born in Lithuania. It became quite clear that he was an extraordinary soul, and the Chafetz Chaim was his Rebbe. At the age of 23, the Chafetz Chaim sat him down and said, I want to ask you something, but I want you to agree before I ask you. And Rav Kook said, well, of course. And I'm assuming everybody knows who the Chafetz Chaim is. He was the main sage of Europe in the late 1800s, early 1900s. He got, to, when Rav Kook was 23 years old, he told him, you're not allowed to, to be a Rosh Yeshiva or just to write your entire life. The nation of Israel needs to, you, you need to be a Rav in Israel. And at that point, he uh, went to be a rabbi in Zoymel in Lithuania and then in Boise, the larger community. And in 1902, the chief rabbi of Yafo passed away and, and he was invited to be the next chief rabbi of, Rab of Yafo. And in 1902, while this process were going on, was going on, he wrote a poem. It's about a 43-verse 40, poem. I'm going to share with you the first four verses. Okay, share screen. So, Bu. Sion v'hakifua. It's a phrase from Tehillim, encircle Sion, encompass her. Sobu Sion sabua. Kegalgal makifa nekuda. Hakifua itua. The Torah biteuda. Encircle Sion, encircle like a wheel around the point. Surround her, crown her with Torah and testimony. Sobu nitzru tziyona mikol oyev mitnakem. Hakifu nitzru hamona mikol peti mitchakem. Encircle. Watch over Tsiona from every vengeful foe. Surround, protect her many from every fool pretending wisdom. Hakifua leval bayif wotsu mechable kerem shualim. Hakifua leval bayish wotsu tofle sheker unvalim. Surround her, surround Zion, surround Israel so that she will not be breached by terrorists, foxes of the vineyard. Surround her so that she will not be swarmed by smearers of lies and slander. Mechable kerem shu'alim, tofle sheker nivalim. So Butzion Sabua Begeder Eshdat Bigvura Shimrua E Asu Livlichat Encircled Sion Encircle with the fence of fire and law with 
gvura, with heroism, with might, protector, and fearlessly do it all. So butzion sabua begeder ishdat begvura shimrua he asu levlichat. Nineteen o two. Speaking about protecting us from terrorists, foxes of the vineyard, and smearers of lies and slander towards Zion. So, in nineteen o eight. Rav Kook was asked about other religions. And he said there, we have to understand, we have to take note of, there's the uh, Medrash, and Vilna Gon amplifies this, that the, the, the head of Esau, when he passed away, rolled into Ma'arata Machpela as an interred with the Avot and the Imaot, the patriarchs and the matriarchs. And in a letter in 1908, Rav Kook said, it is for this reason that the person, the man of truth, Jacob, the man of integrity said on his reunion with Esau, I have seen you. It is like seeing the face of God. When Jacob and Esau re-met after 22 years of separation, and Esau and Jacob were so afraid of what, what Esau was, was, was still angry at him and what he would do, and then they come and they embrace and they kiss. And Esau and Yaakov says, seeing, like, seeing your face, lirot panecha kirot pnei elokim, seeing your face is like seeing the face of God. And Rav Kook said in 1908, these words will not go down as a vain utterance. The brotherly love of Esau and Jacob, of Yitzchak and Ishmael, implying the brotherly love of Christianity and Judaism, of Israel, of Israel and Islam, the brotherly love of Esau and Yaakov, of Yitzchak and Ishmael, will reassert itself above all the confusion that our materiality has engendered and it will overcome and transform everything to eternal light and compassion. And then he says, this understanding that this is the way history is going must be our guide in all our ways in the latter part of history, which we are now in, to in the end of days, to complete, to seal our understanding of the Torah, implying our understanding of the Torah is incomplete if we don't understand that this is where it's, what the, where it's going. Um, he says this understanding has to accompany us in this point in history so that we can truly to complete our understanding of the Torah and turning to turn the bitter to sweet and the darkness to light. So may we be real agents. And Rav Kook and the entire Torah and Torah of Kabbalah says very specifically the most powerful power we have is the power of good. And I'd like to share with you this poem about the power of good. And please notice sometimes in... There, many of these poems are perfect rhythm and rhyme. And he wrote them all in inspiration. There's, if you see his writings, I'm not sure if you can see the picture here, but it's just written all in inspiration. Hatsofe le tova. The one who seeks for the good. Et. Hatov ani choshek begeon rehavav yaksimeni sfatav shoshanim ani noshek umar e hodo yarhiveni. 
it's the good that I desire. It's broad expanses entrance me. It's lips, it's roses I kiss. It's glorious vision exalts me. Atov hamuchlat belidai be'en kets u'meitzar u'gvul she'enenu nivdal mekol chai she'machshir bechazdo kol pasul. Absolute good without limitation, without end, constriction, or boundary that does not separate from anything alive, from anyone alive, and with its love fixes everything broken. And more literally, that with its chesed, it makes kosher everything pasul, that is, been unkoshered. Hatov li gam lakol, tov belo ra ukfada, tov male hanaa lakol, oops. Hatov li gam lakol, tov. Belo ra ukfada tov male hana ala kol mal eshava been charada. Good for me and for all. Good without bad or, or tightness. Good, full of pleasure for all, full of tranquility, without anxiety. Ein charada. Tov la netzach. Tov le sha'a. Tov le chol am ve am. A tsofe le tova ve lo le ra'a. Ve or ve chedva. Ba asher hu sham. Good forever. Good right now. Good for every people and nation who seek for the good and not for the bad, and the light and the delight. Ba'asher hu sham, as, as the one is there, is where the divine presence is. So may we be blessed in our lifetime to experience tov netzach, tov l'sha'ah, good forever, good in every moment, good, tov l'chol am ve'am, good for every people and nation. For all who seek for the good and not for the bad and the light and the delight, as the one is there. But Asher Hu Sham. Okay. So. Okay. Um, so I'm just checking back in because as everybody's hearing me and seeing me, it's okay. And I'm hoping it's it's of interest because I'm not getting, I can't get any uh, thing, but I'm going to continue on assuming that. Wait, I need... Yeah, I think it's all good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. All right. Just fine. All right, good. So yeah, I'm, yeah. Well, I'll stop about fifteen two, and then we'll be able to open up the discussion a little. And because it's a, so, thank you for your for your interest. Okay, um, Ruff Cook was known. His whole life was around Elul. He was born on the third of Elul. He came to. Uh, Israel to be the chief rabbi of Yaf of Jerusalem in the third of Elul. He was, no, I'm sorry, he was born in the 16th of Elul, passed away, uh, came to Jerusalem on the third of Elul, 1919, when he was asked to be the chief rabbi of Jerusalem. He was the chief rabbi of, of Yafo between 1904 till 1914. He was in England, including London, and had a, a profound impact on the Balfour Declaration coming about and then he came back in 1919 and he was asked to be the chief rabbi of Jerusalem and he arrived in Jerusalem on the 3rd of Elul 
1919 and until his passing in 1935 on the 3rd of Elul. And a number of years ago, they did a survey. Who's the person most influential on shaping the modern state of Israel? Ben-Gurion was number two. Rav Cook was number one. So there's there's much to fill it. You know, there's like it's, but let's stay with the poetry. And this is a, and he was known as, uh, his whole teaching is about tshuva, our return to Israel, our return to our, to our Israelite spirit, our return to our best, and, 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 and in many more levels. But one of the things that makes his Torah particularly important to us, he, his Torah deals with all levels of our being, including our own individual being. And in his writings on tshuva, he says the main point of tshuva is that we need to return yashuva adam elatzmo. A person will return to themselves, a shorish nishmato, to the source of their own soul. Umiyad yashuv ela Elohim. And right there we return to the divine. So he wrote a poem, Shuva Ruchi. The names were not, he didn't put the names on, they're just taken from the poem. He wrote, yeah, Shuva Ruchi, Shuva Leuzecha, Lama Yu Ashamaim Shomemim Beenecha. Return my spirit, return to your full strength. Why should the skies be? Desolate in your eyes. They are the source of power and life, and they give life to all on earth. Whenever your heart is raised, ascend to the heights. Be like a heroic lion and know that strength and life have come down for you. Al tira me muhumat gev mi dildul basar vetashut chomer. Don't be afraid of the upheaval of the body from sagging flesh and weakness of matter. Or haneshama yosif lecha umets veziv chayecha meod yeematz. The light of your soul will give you courage and the light of your life will be very strong. Histaer la merchavim limkor hapliot. Be strong, my spirit, and very brave. Fly the heights, soar in your thoughts. Storm the wide places all the way to the source of wonders. Itromem el al veheye sagiv u besegiv ta ale birnana titromem. Rise high, become exalted. Rise mightily. Rise with a joyful song. Al tifchad ki uscha oznetzach. Don't be afraid. Your strength is an eternal power. Chaim gma she'af orim lir baya. Drink in life. Inhale light to overflowing. Shuva ruchi. 
Shuva Uzecha. Return my spirit, return to your full strength. In 1904, he wrote this, and this is, we're starting now uh, the book of Exodus and the entry into enslavement and the freedom from enslavement, which has become the, the a core foundational dynamic of, of Israel. And Ruff Cook here gives it expression of the significance for us to free our spirit. Draw freedom, liberation. Levavi kayam kasir yartiach yishaf la'al ligdulot venisgavot. Mital orot elyonim yafriach miginzei neshamot bishmei aravot. My heart rages like a boiling pot, like a stormy sea. I aspire. I aspire for the heights from the dew of lights which flower from the highest, from the souls hidden in the realms above. Lo he'aser bikvalim ulam besadim. Eved Adonai Ani, velo Eved Avadim. I will not be bound in chains nor locked in stocks. I am a servant of Adonai and not a slave of slaves. Lo he'aser bikvalim ulam besadim eved Adonai ani velo eved la'avadim. So, um, Rav Kook passed away in, in, in 1935, and you, you can read all about him and, and all his extraordinary, uh, just everything he did. He was the main leader in Israel during his lifetime, and, um, and he was an extraordinary teacher of the, the idealism that the Torah is, is telling us that the world is, and the return to Israel is a herald of the world coming to its shlemut, to its tshuva, and to its absolute best, best being, as is the promise of the Torah, the geula, the redemption, the 6,000 years of history and the 7,000 years of Shabbat, and we're 220, 18 years away, so it's, History is moving towards this. And Rav Kook give, gave a description of, of what it will look like when we've really reached our shlemut, our wholeness, our completion. And I want to offer this with the prayer that, that we, we do reach our, our shlemut. Bimhei Rabbi Amenu. Okay. ומעולם רחוק מלא נגוהות, שמשות שם רחבות קיים וכוכבים כאור שמשנו. על פני רקיע, אבן ספיר, שם. From a distant world full of illuminations, the suns there are as broad as the ocean and the stars like the light of our sun on the face of the sapphire stone. There, 
בשורות לי יגיעו כתללים לאים צוף פנג ניהלוני לעדן נעלם. שם חביון העונג. The news reaches me like dew full of the delight of heaven guiding me to the hidden Eden there the treasure is stored. וכל פנים שם עליזים וכל פה ישיר שירי תהילה. ונשגבות יחוש כל לב, וכל רגליים מפזזות בגילה. All the faces there are joyful, every mouth is singing songs of praise. The highest feelings fill each heart, and all the legs are dancing in jubilation. עבר ועתיד כספר נגלל, ואין סתום והכל ידוע. וכל נפש מלאה אהבה לכל וחושים לאלפים. ואור זרוע. The past and the future are scrolled as one. Nothing is hidden, everything is known, every soul is full of love for all and feelings for the multitudes, and the light is sown. בכל עברים שוטפים כנחלים וטוהר וזוהר וגבורה ואור וחיים רעננים וחופש ודרור ממולאים בכל היגיון ומפעלים. And all the pasts flow like rivers, illumination, strength, purity and light. Life renewed, freedom and liberation fills all our thoughts and activities. Uvein more u madrich, shofet vasar. Hakol tov, hakol bahir. Vein ivut, vein ikum, hakol yashar. Velayla. Kayom Yair. And without teachers, guides, judges, or politicians, everything is good. Everything is clear. There's no crookedness. There is no corruption. Everything is with integrity. Akol Yashar, the way of Israel. Yashar El, Ezehu Derecha Yashar, Pirkei Avot answers. Without crookedness, without corruption. Everything is with integrity. Velayla kayom ya'ir. And the night will shine like the day. Le'olam ze nafshi sho'efet. Uvecha'im ka'ele uchi merachefet. To a world such as this, my soul longs, my being aspires. Uvechaim ka'el ruchi merachefet. And in life such as this, my spirit soars. Le'olam ze nafshi sho'efet uvechaim ka'el ruchi. So may we be blessed to, this is the Shlemut that the Divine Presence wishes for us. And so I have one more completing poem and but before that, I'll take some questions. I guess we can't talk in this, but if anybody wants to ask anything, let me um, for these formats are but so if anybody has any questions or comments, this would be a good time. I'm writing in my website of our project and
Yeah, if people are welcome, to, I want. I'm going to do one more. Yeah, you're welcome to come. I'm going to do one more poem, a completing poem. So before that, please come on camera. You're welcome to come. Um, so I sent there and my website. So if you have any questions or comments or we, there is a daily rough cook class that we're doing online on Zoom daily, mm -hmm. 7 p. at this point, 7 p. at this time, every day. And it's there's people from here to California involved and we're reading rough cook um, from. Uh, do you want me to let anyone on camera? Uh, exactly. Uh, can I do that? I don't know how to do that. I'm, I'm uh, there's a moderation tool, but you could also tell me uh, who want who. Please do so. Feel uh, free. I've got three. I've got four people here. So should I just have them one at a time, or all at once? Or... Well, yeah. How if somebody would like to, please. Cool. I'll let them in at two at a time then. Um, yeah. Uh, Do you want me to let them everybody in, or is it to ask questions? Yeah, I would like to. If anybody has questions, I don't want to this this media. If anybody would like to say something, would like to say, um, there are translations of my texts. We're putting it into a into a into a a book form, a little book form, but they are and on my website and on my email and I I I. And also online, I, I've done this poetry with jazz musicians as a musical theater presentation. And some of that is online on YouTube. Haorot Rav Cook. And you'll find there. Any other questions? There's anybody who would like anything to say? The reason coming on camera is I to say something, right? Yeah, I didn't have a question. I just, uh, I know what it feels like to be staring out into the virtual universe and not know if people are there. And this was just so, so beautiful. Um, I did see that someone in the chat asked if you were translating spontaneously. Yeah, I and just, I was wondering that too, if you, uh, if you have a text of your translations or if you no, were just... I, I mean, I, I'm us. always improvising a little bit, but I, the basic translations I've got, I've I have text of them, and and um, yes, and, <laughs> yes, and 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 my email and other on yeah, and I just sent the links of where you can find access to them. Any other comments or questions? Um, if not, with your permission, then I'll go to the to the concluding poem. Okay, so I'm going to go back on to share the screen. Okay, so this will be the this is the concluding poem. And again, thank you very much. And again, please feel free to um, uh, haorot h a o r o t dot com or Gmail, and and you can get more information. And for those of you that don't know about Rav Cook, I I really want to recommend <laughs> that for everybody to, to get to know more because he really is the, the most important voice of Torah of our epoch. Okay, so with this, we'll conclude. Tichia, renewal. Havli hav. Shvive or Ravli Rav Mahashake Bor. Give me, give me rays of light. Enough for me, enough these pits of darkness. Havali Shai Rayone Tohar. Daily die, Maafele Sohar. Give me the gift of purity of thought. Enough for me, enough these prisons of confusion. Tnali tna gvurat chefetz, o shitlina kadure nefetz. Gift me, gift me with the power of desire, extend to me balls of fire. Ana pets bahem, tirotu migdalim, veshochne bahem, avale havalim. 
I will explode with them with the false towers and structures and all the vanity of vanities that dwell within. I call for liberation for my pen, for my words and my pen, without keeping my wine in its barrel. Uvli fachad cherdat avadim nishta ayachad dvarim achadim. And without fear, the anxiety of the enslaved, we will announce together words and matters of unity, uniqueness, and unification. Vahadvarim kechitsim yiklu matratam ulachim nitsim yagidu rish atam. And our words like arrows will hit their mark. And to our brothers and sisters struggling, speak of their and our wrongdoing. Lehitromem miflagot legodel am ulehachi bahasagot kemechave yam. To raise ourselves beyond all these divisions for the greatness of the people, the greatness of the nation, and to expand our consciousness as broad as the ocean. לנער האבקים מארצות הגולה שהם נדבקים בליבנו החולה. To understand the principle that is everything. No, לנער, sorry. To shake the dust from the lands of our exile that are cleaving to our sickly hearts. להבין הנקודה שהיא הכל to understand the principle that is everything, our Torah, our destiny, the power of the one. To be concerned about the soul, the soul of our people turned over desolate in its exile from home. Le'orer ha'chaim le'tchiyat ha'am ba'aretz u'bashamayim ba'asher heim sham To awaken life to the renewal of the people of humankind in the earth and the heavens as they are there. Le'orer ha'chaim v'tchiyat ha'am ba'aretz u'vashamayim ba'am v'sher heim sham. Le'orer ha'chaim may we be so blessed.